Hello! We're back again for art. And we're gonna start our art lesson today with our new art motto. So here we go, let's do it together. Our art motto is, I will try my best, I will be creative, and I will problem solve. Let's do it with the art moves. I will try my best, I will be creative, and I will problem solve. If we can keep those three things in mind for any art project and really any other time in our life, we're gonna be in totally good shape. So for today, our art lesson is this fun warm up. It's called circle art. And in your classwork, you will find a worksheet that you can print off. But I know that sometimes we don't have the tools to print things off. So I'm going to show you a DIY or do it yourself version of the worksheet. So we can all do this fun exercise together. Now, I cannot wait. This is one of my favorite brain exercises to get ourselves ready for art. And you may be asking me, Mrs. Fred, why do we have to get ready for art? Well, we're gonna change the way we're thinking and we're gonna start moving some muscles around in our brain to look at, a, look at things maybe a little bit different ways. Usually I don't do worksheets, but this is the perfect way to start the year to get our brains ready and working so we can see things. That's right, see things. See things a different way. So let's get going. Okay, you can use any sheet of paper for this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna count one, two, three, four across the top is how many circles we have, and one, two, three, four, five along the side. All together, that gives us 20 circles. So your page should have 20 circles too. Okay, there are two ways to get your circles. The first way is you can just freehand. One, two, three, four. I've got my top row, so you can just freehand if you would like to do it that way. Now, if you have something with a circle bottom, you can simply just trace circles around that, and that will also give you your circle shape that you can do this project for. Either way is fine for me. The only thing you need to remember is that you must have 20 circles, and then do your best to fill them up. Okay, boys and girls, this is where the magic and the fun of art begins. Listen, you're gonna take these 20 plain circles and turn them into whatever your imagination can make them into. This is going to be awesome. Now don't copy me. Oh yeah, you heard me. Don't copy me. I want you to come up with your own ideas because I cannot wait to see what your brains come up with. Oh yeah, don't forget the very best part, and that is coloring. Boys and girls, coloring is where it comes alive. Make these things awesome and do your best coloring. Here are some examples we came up with. Now, I can't wait to see what you created. We'll see you next time.